Are we good? We live? All right. So I mentioned yesterday's video that I'm trying to go seven straight days here on the Reaction Channel while uploading video, and I asked y'all to send me links. And Thomas Lee sent me today's video, which is NBA Players on Fire Part 1. It's an older video, so it should be a lot of stuff that I don't remember. When I say older video, this video came out in 2016, y'all. 2016. So I'm going to see a lot of players catch fire that I ain't see catch fire in a while. So let's get into it. Shout out to Thomas Lee. Here we are. Starting off with Cal Corver. Here in Chicago, some of us call him Hot Sauce. Uh, somebody, somebody called him... When he played for the Bulls, if I'm not mistaken, the whole Twilight stuff was going on. So they was calling him like, Edward? Does that make sense? Anybody here watch, watch the Twilight movies or read the Twilight books? I think Edward is a character, the vampire character. Because he's super pale, good looking dude. And here we are, he on fire. That's two for, that's two, for two. It's Ursan. He's not hot, he's not hot. Find Cal Corver. Y'all remember when Cal Corver was an all-star replacement for Dwayne Wade? Oh, that's just a heat check. That's just a heat check. Coming off the screen. He didn't care. He didn't care, bro. That's Now, that is the definition of a heat check. Is he still going? This is when you have to find that man. Off the screen again. Double team. Over Giannis. Over Michael Carter Williams. He's on fire. Yes, sir. And there's like five different parts of this series alone. And if we don't get... If we don't get to see Klay Thompson catch a fire in that third quarter, I'm going to be really upset. All right, so we got LeBron. He just hit his first three. Second three for LeBron. That's already close to a career high. I'm messing. I'm messing. I'm messing. I'm messing. LeBron James, two for two from three. He came. He went into halftime, came out of halftime, and still was on fire. I hate that this footage is uh, <laughs> so great. <laughs> We've been spoiled, ladies and gentlemen, with great footage, great HD footage. And in reality, every all footage ain't like that no more. But yeah, what is that? Do, do, do. Quick cement. That's quick 11 points for LeBron. Quick 11. And you see he's on fire because he's trying to push the pace. He's like, give me back the ball because I'm feeling it right now. No way, Bronny. Oh. He's as hot. As a blowtorch, 14 straight for LeBron. Hold on. Give it back to him. No, he did it. Yes, he did. Just like in the summertime, he's knocking down shots like nobody is around him. That, this is a good commentator. Some good top commentator. I, I wish I could see who's actually guarding him. No, he didn't. I've never seen this before. I've never seen this footage before. I'm, I, I'm waiting for them to tell me how many straight he's, he's hit because I, I lost track. He's got 39 total in the game. The second half just started. And he's still going? I thought the clip was over. He's got at least one more. And it's the midi. Oh, man. I've only seen LeBron play live one time in a regular season game against the Bulls this season. And he definitely puts on the show every single time he hoops, bro. All right. Now we got the we got some playoff action. Easter Conference Finals. We get a little heat check. J.R. Smith action. Okay. That's two for two. That's two for two. And they needed it here. They needed it here. They were already down. So they needed somebody to catch on. Mike Budenholz the upset. They just switched defenders. Now they got a better defender and Ken Bays more on him, and it just did not matter. Give it back to him, Bron. He's wide open. Well, y'all know LeBron got that vision. He gonna find the open shooter. He waited for the defender to get there and still knocked it down. My boy Jr. Hey man, when Jr. is on, he's one of the most fun players to watch, bro. As far as role players go, he's one of the most fun players to watch when he's on. Complete microwave. Complete microwave. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Seven threes there. Are we making an eight? We are making an eight. There's nothing you can do. Kim Bazemore, just, he, his whole body just looked defeated. Because there's nothing he can do more. That's great defense. Oh, yes. Give me some Steph Curry catch a fire, bro. We could probably watch a 30-minute video of Steph Curry catch a fire. And here's the first one. That's, we got one three already. 
Steve Blake on me? Come on, man. That's torched. This is young him, too. This baby face assassin. For real, for real. Find him. Find him. Where's Steve Blake? Where's Steve Blake? Oh, he's nowhere to be found. It's three for three. Coming up court. Now they put Ron Artest on him. A better defender. Meta where our piece is here. Way better defender than Steve Blake. Did we get our boy on the screen? Oh, my God. Dwight. Dwight, you got to step up. That's four. I'm trying to figure out what season this is. Here go five. Steve Blake. Look at Kobe. Kobe like Steve. Bro, what do you, watch Kobe reaction to Steve Blake getting lost on this screen. Kobe like, bro, what is you doing? What is you doing right now? That's the great. He's a great shooter. How are we going under screen still? What an angle. Uh. What an angle, bro. Another one. Steve Blake. How is Coach letting Steve Blake still play basketball right now? He is getting whopped. All right. I mean, it's a close game still, even with Steph Curry catching fire. Look at Steve Blake still on him. Three steps behind. Actually, it's like one step behind, but Steph Curry's trigger is so quick that one step behind is still, still too much behind. How? How is Steve Blake this far away on this play? Why are you diving down here? This man has hit seven three-pointers in the video we've seen. How are you double doubling down on Festus Azili to leave Stephen Curry? They didn't hit. They didn't read the scouting report. Steve Blake didn't read the stat scouting report. Just on the way, Crazy. Game of our MLK oh, JJ Redick coming off those double screens. JJ Redick is nasty. Is nasty, bro. He's one of those players too. I love to shoot, see great shooters shoot. I love to see great shooters shoot. I mean, it's not like I'm taking much away from him because my jump shot still broke. But you know what I'm saying? The man's stroke is so nice. Pause. But you get what I'm saying? The man JJ, look at look at the Chris Chris Paul finding the high hand. And JJ driving. You thought he was gonna pull up a three because that's what he's known for, but he got a little bit of everything in his arsenal, except for Supreme Athleticism. And one. And one. I love JJ Reddick's podcast, man. Yo, if it was not for JJ Reddick's podcast, I would not personally have a job with House of Highlights right now. Isn't that crazy? If it wasn't for JJ Reddick, I would not be working with House of Highlights right now. So shout out to JJ, man. Shout out to JJ. I actually told him that, and he said congratulations or something like that. Oh, my God. He just shot it. He was looking for the pass. He was like, I'm on fire. Why not shoot it? My badge is on. My sharpshooter badge is on. They lose him again. His feet aren't even set. He's leaning away from the rim. Oh, man. Make that seven. James Oh, this is back when James Harden was known as a one of the worst defenders in the league. This is when he was known as one of the worst defenders in the league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. JJ. Ridiculous, bro. It's the JJ Reddick show. Taylor Parsons hit 10 threes and a half. Then right here, 10 threes and a half, bro. That's one. And now he's out of the league, man. That's crazy to think about. That's two. I never really noticed how far he jumps forward on his jump shot. JJ Reddick does the same thing. We're like, that's why JJ Reddick was terrible in a three point competition. They just jump so much in front of them with their jump shots. Man, and he's having fun. I love to see an NBA player hit a shot and start smiling. I love to see it. James Harden, five Chandler Parsons again. Ridiculous. 10 threes in a single half. It's crazy. And now he is out of the league. I know he was in a car accident recently. Uh, but even before the car accident, he was he was like jumping around different places, not really getting PT in Atlanta. He spent a lot of time in different places. But uh, young Chandler Parsons was real, man. Second round pick, came in and immediately was a decent player. Look how much he jumps forward on his jump shots. That is crazy. Six three-pointers in the quarter. That's what's up. But they didn't know that the man was going to come into the fourth quarter and still hit four more of them. And how do you... I can't tell who 22 is in this situation. But how do you see a man hit six straight threes? Six straight threes. And you don't step up on a hard Dwight Howard screen, bro. If I'm a coach, I'm, I'm upset. I'm real upset at these boys. There's no way he should be this open. There's no way he should be this open. Defensively, I'd be so mad as a coach. 
There's no reason for you to be that far. Look at Robert Covington. There's no reason for you. Okay, now they got Tayshaun Prince on him. A better defender. He was old in here. It didn't matter, though. Whew. They're still losing, though. Did they win this game? Did they win this game? Look at Patrick Beverly trying to hound Nick Kalathis. Do y'all remember that name, Nick Kalathis? Because I do. He got suspended for using PEDs. I do remember that. Another one. How is he? How is it? They, they call foul, right? They didn't even call foul. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's not a foul. The man got mauled. And they're still down, bro. That's crazy. They couldn't get a stop on Nick Kalathis and people? Ten threes and a half. And a half of basketball. The day MJ became the GOAT. Sounds like an interesting title. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. We'll be back tomorrow, of course. Like I said, seven straight days of reacts. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out. Peace.